Hi guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. And guess what? It is officially cheer season. I actually have been to a couple of competitions this year already since the beginning of October, but most of those competitions have been catered towards uh, like the Pop Warner youth type leagues. All-Star season is starting very, very, very soon, and I only know that because there have been a lot of showcases by All-Star gyms. Now, if you know anything about the All-Star world, you know that a lot of the bigger name gyms, they put their showcases out on the internet live so that people can stream them and watch them as they do their showcases. I am here to talk about the first two showcases of this year, and that was Cali All-Stars, and I believe it was their San Marcos location, and also Cheer Extreme All-Stars, and I believe it was their Raleigh location. Usually when showcases happen, and they are put out for everybody to see, they usually like to showcase their higher level teams. Today I'm going to be discussing some level 5 and level 6 teams between California All-Stars and CEA. For anybody who is here just to watch my cheer content, thank you so much. I know it's been almost like 6 months since I put out a cheer video. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you guys for waiting. Trust me, as much as you guys have been waiting to hear my content, I've been waiting to put out my content. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so that I know you guys would like to hear more of this content. Gross. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know what kind of content you guys like. I promise you the comments, the thumbs up, the subscriptions, it means more to me than you guys will ever know and it helps me be able to put out more content that you guys would like to hear about. I'm going to be talking about the showcase that happened, I want to say it was around October 22nd, 23rd. The teams that I watched, I just want to give you guys my first impression of what I think. I'm going to start with California All-Stars Rangers. This is their International Open Co-Ed Level 6 team. Now back in the day, Level 6 teams used to be a bunch of older individuals who had aged out of the senior age but they could have been a level one athlete when they aged out they could have been a level two athlete when they aged out etc etc this level did not always have a lot of level six skills sometimes they had good tumbling sometimes they had decent baskets but they rarely had good stunting and partner stunting as far as cali rangers went in their showcase their tumbling was on point. The synchronization was awesome. <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me. I can only assume that their back tuck baskets are going to be more difficult because those baskets were so beautiful. They have to at least be doing fulls or doubles. I feel like they had a great start to level six stunts, but with the updated score sheet, in order to score in the high range, they are going to need more body positions when it comes to their single leg stunts. I felt like it was a great start to everything as far as their pyramids, as far as their stunts, their dance. I just can't wait to see it all come together as one. I love a good level six team. Next, I'll be talking about California All-Stars Sparkle. This is their international open um, all-girl level five. Honestly, the only thing that I really have to say is that they do have a solid platform and that their routine can only get better from where they are. I don't know what else they have to contribute to the routine because I know showcases usually do not give their entire routine, but the overall shell of their routine is phenomenal. I know last year they did great. I cannot wait to see what they have to put out this year. But like I said, they have an amazing platform, and from what I saw at the showcase, they can literally only get better. The last team from California All-Stars I will be talking about is California All-Stars Lady Bullets. This is their small all-girl. I feel like they had great timing on their tumbling, but execution could have been a lot better. You'll hear me say this a lot during a lot... What? You'll hear me say this a lot when it comes to stunt sequences and elite sequences. From Lady Bullets, I would love to see more body positions. 
if you guys are unaware, there has been a big change to the score sheet. And in order to score higher, or I'm sorry, in order to score in the high range, body positions are a must. And a lib or a torch is not considered a body position. So when I don't know what these final routines are going to look like. So when I say they need more body positions, if they give them during their actual competitions, fantastic. I'm not talking about their actual elite sequence. I'm talking about the body positions that they need to pull in order to score in the high range. If you guys would like to see a breakdown of the stunt portion of the score sheet, please comment below so that I know and I will definitely do a video about that. This year, I feel like the choreography before jumps or during jumps is going to be the thing. There's always a thing when it comes to all-star cheer. There's always a trend. And I feel like this year is going to be what people are doing before or during or after their jump sequence. Lady Bullets, their jump sequence literally gave me life. Yes, I realize they only did pencils. I'm not talking about their actual jumps. I'm talking about their choreography within the jump sequence. It was awesome. I loved it. One thing that I'm waiting for with level five routines is I'm waiting to see different level five baskets. There's not just kick doubles and hitch kick doubles and switch kick doubles. There's actually a a grid that has a lot of non-twisting level five baskets that I am waiting to see. I am waiting for that one team to come out and do squad non-twisting level five baskets. I cannot wait to see that. But their baskets were good, they were great. Kick double baskets is kind of the norm, but me personally, I'm just waiting to see something different out of the ordinary. And the one thing that I did love about their pyramid is I love that it traveled. You don't see a lot of traveling pyramids. You kind of see a lot of stationary pyramids. You see a lot of, um, I'm going to try to be visual. So you see a lot of pyramids that are just like this, like straight across. And then you'll see where like one sun group comes in front of the other and it's like mirrored on the other side. But I love how they did like an actual traveling pyramid. It's different. I love different. That's what I love about cheerleading. On to cheer extreme. I'm going to start with Smoex. This is their small co-ed. They had a lot of great fun transitions in their elites, which helps get them into the high range as far as difficulty goes for stunts. Once again, they had a really fun jump sequence and there was not a lot of dead time in their routine. I love when there's not dead time in routines. I love when a routine flows very well together. One thing that I do have to say is that their basket toss execution Probably needs a little work, but overall, I mean, it's a good, well put together level five routine. Next, I'm moving on to Cougars, which is their international all girl level five. Same thing with Cali Sparkle. I feel as if they have a great platform. They can only get better from here. I love their jump sequence, and the one thing that stood out to me the most is I love how in the beginning of the routine, they showcase, spotlighted, headlined Sophia. If you guys don't don't know who she is, I mean, I only know who she is because of like social media, but I feel like she is a positive role model for a lot of transgendered people who are trying to make it in the cheer world. Or trying to make it anywhere in life. So I love the fact that they actually gave her a highlighted spot in their routine kind of to shut the haters down a little bit but I thought that was pretty awesome of them to allow her to do that. Next is Coed Elite. This is their senior co-ed. This is their large co-ed. This is the senior large co-ed division. This is their senior large co-ed. The one thing that I loved out of this entire routine was like that center stalled basket. I would love to see more stalled baskets just because it shows me that the flyer is a strong athlete, has a lot of control of her body, knows what she's doing in the air. Stalled baskets when it comes to like kick doubles, anything before a double, probably my favorite thing in the entire world because it shows so much control, body control that the flyer has. However, 
On the flip side, I would like to see more creative transitions and more co-ed stunting. I'd also like to see cleaner tumbling. If you guys understand what changed in the score sheet, you might understand why there's a lot more creative stunt transitions in this routine rather than them focusing on doing more difficult skills because the difficulty is there don't get me wrong but if you guys know the score sheet you'll see why they're focusing more on creative transitions rather than focusing on trying to get more co-ed stunts in the air now on to SSX. This is their senior small all girl. Once again, I would love to see more body positions. Their elite literally has the potential to be one of the best elite sequences I've ever seen in my life based on the score sheet. Now when I tell you, I think what they did was fantastic, but I'm not saying it because I think I could do better or I've seen better, but I'm strictly looking at it from a score sheet point of view because I know there's a lot of people who will watch their routine, watch their stunts and go, wait, how come they only scored X, Y, Z? So everything that I'm telling you guys is all based on score sheets. This is not, this has nothing to do with like my personal feelings or my biasness, biases, biasnesses whatever. I'm looking at all of these routines honestly based on a score sheet. When I tell you their elite has potential to slay, I mean their elite has potential to be in the highest of the high, in the high range on the score sheet. Love everything about their elite. The only thing per the score sheet that is missing are body positions. And who knows, they probably already have their body positions, but they're holding back for future competitions. And their opening standing tumbling is phenomenal. I can't get over how great their technique is and how great their timing is. Now onto Senior Elite. If you guys know me, you guys know how I feel about Senior Elite. That's all I'm gonna say. Courtney Smith Pope is not playing this year. She is pissed. She's not playing. She doesn't want anybody to think less of Senior Elite this year. If they went out and competed that routine, their second routine, because I think somebody got injured during the first run through, whatever. But if they went out and competed that routine, hands down, they'd get a bid. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Courtney's not playing this year. She's not going to let anything, any controversy, any anything defer, deter, derail her from doing what the cheer world knows she can do. As a former gymnast, their running tumbling sequences are ridiculous. I cannot get over the fact that they've got... <sighs> I can't get over the fact that they've got like front hand spring front layouts. I can't get over the fact that they're doing other things than the standard round up I can't swing doubles, round off whip through doubles. I can't get over that. And not only are their running tumbling passes different, but they're executed very well. Just as always, their pyramid is fantastic. I love the creativity and the flow of the pyramid, not just the fact that, what? not just the fact that it's difficult because there's more to the pyramid like i said the new score sheet there's more than than just difficulty um creativity is is a little bit i don't want to say it's more but whatever if you guys like i said if you guys want to see something about the score sheet let me know so hopefully i can explain to you guys what i mean when i'm saying um transitions and creativity mean more even though it doesn't but it kind of does Whatever. In my opinion, Senior Elite is always known for their pyramids, and this year is no different. The one thing, like I've been saying for everybody else on this video, are more body positions. Yes, the difficulty is there, but if the difficulty is there in those single leg stunts plus body positions, these teams are guaranteed to score higher in the high range. That's even if they get into the high range, because some of these some of these routines that I've talked about, their elite sequence would not qualify in the high range. 
based on body positions alone. We're getting away from the libs and the torches. We want to see more stretches and scales and arabesques and stuff like that. We want to see these one-legged scents go to a body position rather than a lib to showcase how difficult the stunt actually is. Because there's been years prior, and if you know who I am, if you know who I love, you know what year I'm talking about, where a team has done a routine that is, it wasn't difficult, but it was clean because they did libs rather than body positions, but they, but because libs were a one-legged stunt and not considered or and they were considered a body position i'm sorry that they were scoring in the same range as people that were doing heel stretches and bow and arrows and scorps that teams that were doing libs and playing it safe were winning so this year it's changed and i love that i love the fact that it's changed i would i can't wait for this season anyways i've talked for like five Hours. Please let me know that you're enjoying these videos by giving me a thumbs up and by commenting and subscribing so I know that I'm not just talking to my camera and nobody's listening. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys that takes the time out to watch my videos. Stay tuned for my next video. It will be the week of the blue debut. I will be watching those routines and then going over them as I did this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a positive and love-filled day. Bye!